Today a history of war. Winston Churchill was an inspirational statesman, writer, orator, and leader who led Britain to victory in the Second World War. Winston Churchill was born on 30 November 1874 in Oxfordshire and was of a rich, aristocratic ancestry. Although achieving poor grades at school, his early fascination with militarism saw him join the Royal Cavalry in 1895. As a soldier and part-time journalist, Churchill traveled widely including trips to Cuba, Afghanistan, Egypt and South Africa. Churchill was elected as a conservative MP for old men in 1900 before defecting to the Liberal Party in 1904 and spending the next decade climbing the ranks of the Liberal government. He was first Lord of the Admiralty by the time of the disastrous Gallipoli campaign which he created. Heavily criticized for this error, he resigned from this position and travelled to the Western Front to fight himself. He served as Chancellor of the Exchequer from 1924, when he controversially opted for Britain to rejoin the gold standard. Following the Tory electoral defeat in 1929, Churchill lost his seat and spent much of the next 11 years out of office, mainly writing and making speeches. Although he was all alone in his firm opposition to Indian independence, his warnings against the appeasement of Nazi Germany were proven correct when the Second World War broke out in 1939. Following Neville Chamberlain's resignation in 1940, Churchill was chosen to succeed him as a Prime Minister of an all-party coalition government. Churchill, who also adopted the self-created position of Minister for Defense, was active both in administrative and diplomatic functions in prosecuting the British war effort. Some of his memorable speeches were given in this period and are credited with stimulating British moral during periods of great hardship. However, Labour leader Clement Attlee's unexpected general election victory in 1945 saw Churchill out of office and once again concentrating on public speaking. In his 1946 speech in the USA, the instinctive pro-American famously declared that the Iron Curtain has descended across the continent and warned of the continued danger from a powerful Soviet Russia. By his re-election in 1951, Churchill was in the words of Roy Jenkins gloriously unfit for office. Aging and increasingly unwell, he often conducted business from his bedside and while his powerful personality and oratory ability endured, the Prime Minister leadership was less decisive than during the war. Poor health forced him to resign in 1955. Churchill died in 24 January 1965 in London and he was honored with a state funeral. That's all for today guys, I hope you like it and see you next time.